Now you may be wondering, Carson, how are you able to even talk about this? Well, little teaser guys, I have been in IT for over 10 and a half years. My success in IT was very unconventional, just like it was with the financial industry. Here's the fun part about it. Hey guys, welcome back. This is Carson C. Graham. Grab your tea, grab your coffee. Now is the time to get rejuvenated because today we're talking about the Google Cybersecurity Certificate. And is it a good fit for you? Because guess what? I got mine. Are you getting yours? Let's get into it. Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Carson C. Graham. Welcome back to Financial Tea. Today I'm gonna to be talking about my experience with a Google Cybersecurity Certificate. Is it worth it? How much does it cost? And is what everyone's saying true about maybe it's just not that big of a deal? I don't know. Let's get into it. So many new people are coming to the cybersecurity space just because of you're hearing the six figures mark. But to be honest, anyone can make six figures in IT. Now, if you're just looking for more than just an overview, but a real review about this course, then you're in for a treat. Let's go ahead and get started and talk about the Google Cybersecurity Certificate. So if you don't know what the Google Cybersecurity course is, it actually launched last year. I thought it was this year in May when the course actually was released by Google. Google partnered up with Coursera and Coursera is a platform that has various topics that you can learn and earn certificates. In return for you accomplishing the course, you get something called a certificate. A certificate means that you either learn something that is specialized in the subject or this means that you know what you're talking about. That's what you get, it's called a certificate. Who is this for? You may have never been in the IT field before, you may have never been in cybersecurity, or maybe you have been in IT and you just want to take yourself to another, another area which is called security. That's what this course is about. It's eight courses long. Now, you may be wondering how long it's gonna take you to complete it. Well, it's up to you. It's a self-paced course, which means, yes, there's actually deadlines, but you have to do this at your own pace that fits your current schedule. That's why it's called a self-paced learning course. Now, me personally, it took me one month to complete this. However, at the time I was self-employed, so my schedule was really able to be a lot more flexible versus someone that has to go to work every single day. That's why it took me one month. Now the course itself, Google was estimating this to take six months to complete. Now you'll hear people on the internet saying, well, I completed it in three days or four days or five days. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, it's gonna take more than four or five days. Because if you're being intentional with this course, and even a guy like myself that has been in the IT field for over 10 and a half years, it took me one month. And guys, I literally took this course, when I was doing this course, I was doing eight and sometimes 10 hour days long of studying with this course to complete this and get it done. Now remember, this is not a race. This is a journey where you should be learning everything off of this course. Don't try to be a Speedy Gonzalez. Don't try to be a road runner either. This is not a race, guys. Don't try to beat people on YouTube or make a point. No, do this to actually learn and take away from this so that you can get your foot in the door with cybersecurity. Somebody asked a really good question as well. How much is the course? So the course is $49 a month. Now, a lot of people are saying this, which is true, you can audit the course because Coursera gives you this option to apply for a scholarship to waive the charges. But I found when I tried to do that method, I really didn't even hear anything in the audit mode. The thing about the audit mode is if they let you audit the course, you don't get the certificate. So if you spend a whole six months on this, you're going to have to enable it to at least get the certificate at the end. Now, don't let that discourage you. You can still go after it, but me personally, I tried to get the scholarship to get this for free, and the process for it was very like, well, am I approved or not? Like, it, it just was like crickets. <laughs> the thing I wanna show you guys about Coursera is there's eight different courses that you're gonna have to complete to get the certificate. They're gonna start you out with something called Foundations of Cybersecurity. For me, when I first started this, I was like, oh, this is gonna be the whole course, it's super easy. And it was, but I'm gonna break it down. It kind of fooled me because I had to go back to my YouTube comment. Uh, a lot of people were just sharing about the course. And I was like, oh, cool, I completed it too in two days. And I was like, oh, wait, there's more. <laughs> so yeah, the foundations of cybersecurity takes a couple of hours and they literally just talk about the fundamentals then the basics about cybersecurity, which is super, super important. So. It was great, I have no complaints about that. So yeah, the foundations of cybersecurity, 
you have the connect and protect, play it safe, tools of the trade, Linux and SQL, Python, and then put it to work, which is supposed to help you prepare for cybersecurity jobs, okay? So that's that. Now, as you guys can see, I feel here, and you tell me how you feel just looking at this, I love how Coursera has this very easy to understand, right? Google did an excellent job with this course. I have taken courses before, non-related to IT or cyber, and I can tell you that I like how I could understand this. Now, I'm a visual audio learner. I got all of that and more with this course because what you're gonna see here if you're taking this course is that I love that with Google, a lot of these people that are in cybersecurity were either Bartistas, um, you know, they were florist, you know, <laughs> people that have never been in IT at all. And what I liked about that is not only is that encouraging, I feel that people need that, but also you need a real perspective and not just people like myself that have already been in the field for a long time. And a lot of us can tell you stuff based on, um, based on our experience, which is good, but I think it's good for you to hear it from very unconventional people that broke into cybersecurity very unconventional. So I felt like that was a really good touch. I love the, the aesthetics to it. I love the pace, it just did a really good job. Now me personally, I will tell you this disclaimer as with doing this course, don't get discouraged and quit. If you're doing this course and you're watching this video and other videos like, oh, I don't know if I should take this course, if you're even even if you're the slightest uh, curious, take the course because you should never um, not do a course based off of someone else's experience. Number one, the only thing that I found a little challenging personally is I do know some coding languages, not because of app development, because I taught myself how to build websites. Uh, when I was actually in high school, the only part was a little challenging for me where I even had to, guys, I had to take, <laughs> I had to take like a two day break from the course and it got to the part about, I believe it was uh, equal that got a little iffy for me. Like I really liked it, but towards the middle of that part of the Google cybersecurity, I almost kind of was like, dang, like Google makes you work. Like I don't care how quick everybody else's YouTube video is. I'm not doing that on this video because I want you to understand like, it's easy to do a quick overview about a course and be like, oh, that's it? No, you're gonna, when you take this course, you'll see what I'm talking about. It's going to feel like you are on a treadmill and it goes up and down. So you're gonna start off real gradual and it's gonna take you on a ride, but don't give up. And I'm glad they did that because too many people say, I wanna get into a field and then they're like, oh, okay, I'm done, no. They're gonna teach you everything you need to know like this. Now you may be wondering, um, can this get you in the door with cybersecurity? It's a great question. People keep asking me this question. Well, first let's address, is this course worth it? Yes, it is 100% worth it. Why? Because especially if you have no IT, scratch that. I don't care if you've been, you've been in IT. If you're curious about this course, take it because curiosity is what teaches you valuable experience and lessons for you to grow as an individual. So that's why you should take it. Number two, it's very organized. Number three, you're also going to be able to learn some programming languages, which most cybersecurity courses are not going to teach you this, not even ISC square, which is known by the DOD, which is the department of defense. So yeah, so many new people are coming to, the cybersecurity space just because of the, you're hearing the six figures mark. But to be honest, anyone can make six figures in IT in general. Um, it does it take time. Yeah, let's just be honest, it takes time. Can you get six figures all bad? I could see it's possible, but to be honest guys, I didn't even start making six figures in IT until like my sixth, seventh year. So guys, I had also, I wanna thank people that were on the live that I had. Actually, I did two lives about cybersecurity because so many people had so many questions, but if I need to do another one, just let me know. I'll see based off of how many comments I get on YouTube. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I know I had a great time talking about it. And if you're taking the course right now, I'm wishing you the best of luck and keep pushing. You got this, don't quit. If you have any questions, just leave a comment below and don't forget to subscribe to Financial T if you're enjoying this or found any value in the video so far. Again, this is Carson C. Graham. Don't forget to stay rejuvenated.